All right, team, now it's time to make like a door and hinge. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on the hip hinge, we're gonna use a dowel. The reason why is those three points of contact is gonna help develop the awareness of where your lower back moves in space. And so what you wanna do with this one is set up with three points of contact, tailbone, mid back, and back of your head. Now, if this is uncomfortable in any way in the shoulder, you can just go like this. You just have to be a little bit more mindful of that head position. But what you wanna do is set up with your feet directly underneath the hips, pointing straight forward, because you want equal tension on the lateral and the inside of that hamstring. From here, you're gonna have a slight bend in your knee. You're gonna push that hip back away from your heel. Go back until you feel a little bit of tension in your hamstrings, and then come back up. Pushing hips away from heels. So you feel that hamstring tension and come back up. Now once you've grooved that pattern, you feel comfortable doing it with the dowel. Drop the dowel, put the hands on the thighs, slight bend in the knees, and then resume. Pushing the hips away from the heels, keeping our lower back neutral. Wherever the chest goes, the chin is gonna follow. Just like that, happy hinging, be kinetic.